We still have three more days before all the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX and 7900 XT reviews go live on December 12th. But some gaming, as well as Blender benchmarks vs RTX 4080, 4090, as well as other older graphics cards have been leaked. So I think it will be fun to have a look at them in this video and begin forming realistic expectations without the hype. By the way, there is no sponsor for this video, and I would like to take this opportunity to say a big thank you. Sponsors come and go, but you watching this video is what I appreciate the most. Keep it up, and I shall too. Now back to our topic, starting with the performance in Blender. Nvidia has dominated this application for a long time, and this generation is no exception. Keep in mind that a 24GB RX 7900 XTX priced at $999 and 20GB 7900 XT at $899 are competing versus the 16GB RTX 4080 which Nvidia has priced at $1199. Unfortunately for AMD, RX 7900 XTX is losing to RTX 4080 in Blender by almost 60%. Even RTX 3080 from the previous generation is close to 30% better than the 7900 XTX. So it looks like Nvidia GPUs will remain the preferred choice for 3D modelers for now. Next up is gaming performance. 3D Mark Time Spy is a synthetic benchmark, but it still provides us with a general understanding of where the new graphics cards will land on the gaming benchmark charts. At 4K resolution in this benchmark, both 7900 XTX and XT are extremely close to RTX 4080 score. There is just a couple of percent difference, which leaves RTX 4090 miles ahead with almost 30% better performance. FYI, TimeSpy is a DirectX 12 benchmark representative of new and upcoming games. Looking at the data from existing gaming tests, it looks like the TimeSpy chart should be pretty accurate in representing the 4K performance of the new RX 7900 series cards. No wonder there are rumors that Nvidia is thinking about lowering the RTX 4080 price to better compete with AMD in the near future. Still, it is very impressive that RTX 4090 looks to remain untouchable for now with about 30% lead. That is a tough gap to close. And judging by the fact that AMD is using its absolute top naming for the RX 7900 XTX, it looks like Radeon Division is not planning to challenge Nvidia's flagship products in performance this year. However, AMD could do a comeback by using its dual GPU technology. After all, the company has developed the tech to deliver such products. So AMD does have an ace up its sleeve. I am just not sure that the company wants to use it on this generation of graphics cards. One can dream though. Just imagine a dual GPU RX 7900 series graphics card with 60-80% to more performance than RX 7900 XTX. Maybe that is exactly what we need for 8K gaming to start kicking off. Now back to reality. Let's have a look at other benchmarks. Both RX 7900 cards fall further behind the RTX 4080 in Time Spy 1440p test. 7900 XTX is about 9% slower here. In Firestrike Ultra 4K synthetic benchmark, the new AMD graphics cards are doing a bit better. This test is based on the older DirectX 11 API, so it represents older games. 7900 XTX is 9% faster than RTX 4080, but is still very far away from RTX 4090 losing by 24%. 7900 XT is almost tied with RTX 4080. In Firestrike Extreme at 1440p resolution, RX 7900 XTX managed to get even closer to RTX 4090 losing by 18%. This data cements it as an RTX 4080 competitor. It still remains to be seen how well ray tracing works on the new AMD RX 7000 series graphics cards. I do like what I see so far considering the prices of 7900 XTX and XT cards. 
However, if my current expectations are correct, then I would like to see AMD making the prices even more aggressive, because not many wins can be claimed against RTX 4080. Looking at the benchmarks we have seen so far, it is clear that AMD cannot claim the power efficiency superiority it may have hoped for. RTX 4080 is at 320 watts TDP, RX 7900 XTX at 355 watts, and 7900 XT is at 300 watts. In terms of performance, all three graphics cards look quite similar. Also, I expect the ray tracing performance to be worse on AMD cards. Additionally, DLSS 2 remains a superior image upscaler and is supported in more games than FSR. So, there is still an argument to be made here that RTX 4080 is a better choice, even though I think that its current price is absolutely absurd and has to go down by a lot. I guess what I'm saying is that I wish to see all these new graphics cards drop in price as it appears that both AMD and Nvidia are trying to milk the market right now but it is just my opinion based on the information we currently have available to us. Maybe data from the upcoming reviews will change my mind. We will see that soon on December 12. What do you think about all this? Will Nvidia be forced to lower its prices? Let's discuss it in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, then you know what to do. It was I, Vadim, until next time.